Right, well I didn't think I'd be making this video, but unfortunately, 15 months after I bought the My Energy Eddy device to replace the Solar Eye Boost, it's dead. That's right, 15 months after I bought this My Energy Eddy device to replace our Solar Eye Boost, um, it's actually given up the ghost and died completely. Now, it had been doing some really weird things before it finally gave up the ghost. We had been noticing that it had been playing up a little bit. The light would stay on uh, rather than going to sleep after a few seconds after you'd finished pressing some buttons. Now, when I say it's dead, it's not completely dead. So if I turn it on, you'll see that the unit attempts to boot up. But unfortunately, it never makes it. And then after a few seconds, it starts flashing um, like it knows there's something wrong. Now, if we actually play this back in slow motion, what you'll see is that the bootloader attempts to load from memory the full program that runs inside the Eddy. And what it looks like it's doing is it's loading part of its firmware, but it's failing to load. So the first thing we're going to try is re-downloading the firmware if there's an update on the MyEnergy website. So let's give that a go. To get into the bootloader, you have to turn it off, hold the tick and press it on again. Then you release the button and you'll be into the bootloader. From the bootloader menu, you can download the latest firmware. Now this takes a long time. It's going to download the firmware from the MyEnergy hub, so you have to have a hub in order to do this, uh, which is going to be a bit of a drawback if you don't. Um, you've really got no other option but to send it back. This takes a long time, such a long time in fact that my work light battery died, um, but it does seem to get all the way through copying the new firmware over and installing it. And as you'll see at the end of this clip, it says that firmware is okay. Now that might mean with the problem somewhere else. Well, that looked really promising for a minute. It got to about 90%. We'll have to go back and look exactly where it failed, but it did download a new firmware from the uh, hub and it almost installed the whole thing. And I thought actually for a minute, we might get away with just installing a new firmware. However, it is now back at this flashing light um, stage. If we turn it off and turn it on again. So nothing on the screen, backlight's on. So it looks like we're gonna to have to replace this device because there's something wrong inside it. Um, that's a real shame. I hope that um, there's nothing um, fundamentally wrong with these um, Eddy units because Clearly, although it has got a good three-year warranty, um, I don't want this uh, device failing again. And my previous Solar Eye Boost lasted over five years and it never ever went wrong. So I am a bit disappointed. This device looks the business. It looks a lot sturdier. It's made of a lot higher quality materials than uh, the Solar Eye Boost, which was almost entirely plastic on the outside. Um, this is uh, you know, a much, much better, much more high quality looking unit Unfortunately, it does seem to be that something inside on the uh, on the circuit board um, has failed. Now, I have been speaking to my energy. Um, I explained what was going on, and they sent me very quickly a new Eddy unit. So, let's install that and get ourselves back up and running. This one's got a bit of a schmitz on it. I think we might use the same cover, the original cover, shall we? Hasn't quite passed the quality control there, has it? Well, it's got something on top of it. Maybe it's on top. Hey. Hmm. Right. 
Let's have a little look inside. So yes, there's some very obvious differences actually. So this one's A3100-21B, A3100-30. So this is a revised board. So I thought at this point we could put um, the two circuit boards from these eddies side by side and just have a quick look. Because although the outside of these eddies is exactly the same, the interior of the eddies is far from identical. Um, you can see the new um, eddies main circuit board, the one that's got the big power electronics, these huge capacitors and inductors um, and relays and things like that, is um, arranged differently. So um, on the old unit, the, the two huge capacitors at the top, the black ones here, are kind of blocking the the the, the fins uh, or you know they're blocking the en entry um, with the vents there so they may have just moved those for um, you know heat reasons um, these two big inductors sitting below um, well I guess they're inductors because I haven't actually taken it apart for obvious reasons but um, probably doing some big power smoothing of the of the 240 volts I guess but I mean you know I'm sure people in the comments will correct me if I'm wrong um, I haven't really looked into these boards, um, uh, you know, in any huge detail. Um, but um, you, you can see that, you know, on the face of it, um, although there's similar components there in, a, in different places on the board here, uh, a few extra capacitors down here compared to over here, the two relays are in the same place. Um, and um, as far as the circuit board on top goes, the one which is actually, um, you know, got the smart, so this is the CPU if you like, um, it's got CPU board written on it, so it gives the game away really. Um, but um, that, that board there is, you know, kind of the, the thing that runs the, the unit, everything else behind is, is really the, you know, the business end of the, uh, you know, giving the power to the immersion heater. And, you know, the reason it looks like it's a mirror image almost is because this device can actually do two, uh, heaters simultaneously. I can't help thinking though that actually some people might just want one and, and I certainly have no intention of using two so you know they, they might be able to release a cheaper unit actually which just does the one immersion heater um, but um, you know they, they there you go. Um, so one of the things that really surprised me about this is just how how much different these these boards are and it's really impressive in a way because you can see that they're clearly uh, trying to refine the product and perhaps uh, my older version over here did indeed have some kind of fundamental flaw which which was you know dooming it to to, to fail at some point we we, we won't know um, only my energy will, will will know that but um, you know it does really mean that if it's going to go back uh, and and be refurbished it looks like the entire contents of the uh, of, of the eddy here might just get binned and and the the case is the only thing that gets um, reused and, unless they're going to harvest the components of course but Certainly, some really big differences um, here in the in the new eddy. So uh, that's really interesting. Um, and some of them, you know, are you know possibly as they've been enhancing their manufacturing process. You can see there's some extra sort of pads here on on the on the new uh, CPU board that might make it easier for it, for a test um, rig to be. You know, you know, you can imagine that this could be sort of laid into something with some pins on. And, and it gets a, a sort of test program run through it, or you know maybe maybe over here you've got some programming pins which um, you know can write the software, the firmware to the to the board whilst it's at that stage within the factory. So you know really interesting. Um, let's hope that some of these changes here will also make it uh, more reliable. Um, and um, you know only time will tell there. But uh, let's get the new one back on the wall, and, uh, and we'll carry on. Right. So we've just put the new one on the wall and um, we'll just give it a, a switch on oh and we'll switch the supply on again switch and switch it on hey that looks better so now all we have to do is link it back up to the rest of the system so we have to pair it up with the other devices in the my energy ecosystem that we have here so we've got the zappy and the hub um, as well so we need to just link it in with the zappy and then we should be good to go now on the app itself one of the things i wanted to do is actually remove the old eddy but unfortunately you can't do it i even removed it from my system completely using the menus on the zappy 
and despite that being removed it didn't remove it from the app itself now I've looked on the forums and it looks like you've actually got to ask my energy to do this on your behalf which seems like a bit of a waste of their time if I'm honest but hopefully those features will be coming down the line the other thing I noticed is that within the new Eddy itself there's some additional buttons uh, or at least one additional button which is stop mode so if I hit the button in the middle here um, it says that no heating will take place until you switch your Eddy unit back on and um, that activates some kind of emergency stop mode um, on the Eddy device I'm not quite sure uh, why they've chosen to make that so prevalent on the new version but um, there you go, there are some uh, differences within the app for the new Eddy device that I've got. What do I think about all this? So, first thing, disappointed obviously, um, that after a fairly short period of time this unit has failed. Um, so that's not great. What is great though is the My Energy customer service. Um, uh, a quick exchange over, the, uh, over their support system and um, we had a new one um, within a week um, so you know the turnaround from my energy in terms of getting us a new device was really really good and so you know they do stand behind their products the other thing that i have been thinking about is relocating this unit so um, it is in the airing cupboard and it's in the airing cupboard because that's where the solar eye boost was located um, and i would expect a device that was designed to run an immersion heater to be happy within the confines of an airing cupboard however if we do have any more problems with this i might talk to my energy about locating this elsewhere there isn't actually a reason that it needs to be in the airing cupboard it could quite easily be next to the consumer unit as well because that's where the feed for the immersion heater comes from so rather than it being near the immersion heater it could just be near the consumer unit and obviously the consumer unit is in a less hot and humid uh, environment and there are a lot of air entry um, uh, air, air, air entry vents um, uh, for this it is passively cooled through this massive heat sink on the back um, but i am wondering if some of the um, computerized components in there are, are getting too hot or they are you know suffering from the the, the sort of hot and humid environment inside the airing cupboard because um, the solar eye boost unit was actually almost completely sealed um, which would mean the components inside perhaps a little bit more protected from the elements um, that, 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 that are going on in here. Um, however, we are you know, back up and running. Um, that's great. It's a pretty easy swap out because we've swapped like for like. I didn't have to change brackets. Um, I was a bit disappointed with the um, replacement having damage on the, uh, on the paintwork. Um, so I've just kept my original uh, cover. If you've... Um, had similar issues either with the Zappi unit or the Eddy unit. Has yours just expired um, randomly? Um, or have you had uh, no problems at all? I'd like to know if this is a, uh, you know, a problem that, that you've had as well. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below. But hopefully, um, you know, if anything, this gives you some confidence if you were thinking of buying one, um, that you will get um, you know, a three-year warranty and you will get support um, that is you know, pretty good and it's very, they turn it around really quickly when it, when it does go wrong, so that's always a bonus uh, when, when things do go wrong. Um, but obviously we would prefer them not to go wrong in the first place. So hopefully this one will last the sort of five plus years that my other uh, Solar Eye Boost lasted. Um, so yeah, at the moment we'll see, um, time will tell. Um, I will put more videos up as, as if, there, if anything else does happen. Um, but um, at least they're standing behind their products and um, it looks like they're also striving to make them better because there's some differences in the internals uh, on this one versus the last one. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all that jazz. And, um, and we'll see you in the next one.